Hello guys, and for the last time, it's me again. In the last video, we learned that the internet are cables connecting all the computer networks on the entire planet with servers and one another. You have surely seen that all websites' names have a www before them. This stands for Wild Wild West. Oh sorry, I, I meant to say World Wide Web. But what is the World Wide Web? The name makes me think that it's similar to a spider web, just like the internet. So is the World Wide Web and the internet the same thing? No, actually. The World Wide Web is all the open or public information that you can access by using the internet. All this information is stored on servers in form of websites. But now, how do you really get the information? What is there in between the server and our device that allows us to get the information? Our computers use routers and modems to connect to servers that store websites. For example, your phone is connected to a Wi-Fi signal, which is radio waves coming out of a router. This router is connected to the internet cables that, over many many connections, lead to servers. And then on these servers, there are thousands and sometimes millions of websites that can be sent to your computer. Okay, I want to end this video by showing you some interesting and fun website that you should check out whenever you use a computer, maybe at our IT and media lab. So the first website that I would like you to check out is called Wait But Why? This is one of my favorite websites because every week or so, a guy named Tim Urban writes one really nice long article. And his articles are always fascinating and very well written. He writes articles about pretty much everything and I think you can learn a lot from him. For example, this article, The Big and the Small. The next website that's really cool is called Gravity Points. As you can see, there is many white little dots and whenever you click on the screen, you create a gravity source and all these dots will get attracted to that source. I don't know what else to say, it honestly just looks really cool. And the last website that you should check out is called A Soft Murmur. On this website, you can activate different sound sources and at the end, there is an audio that's played for you that sounds like maybe birds or rain or crickets in the background and you have this really nice background noise where you feel like you're outside and you hear the nature. Of course, you can also access these websites on your phone, but it will be a better experience if you try them out on the computer. Alright, that was all the videos I made for you. I wish you the very best and I hope I helped you learn something about IT and media. Goodbye.